Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to show you how to flash over a stock ROM. Uh, I'm only doing this because I don't want to put it on um, every single video I do. Um, although it's useful but I thought I'll just link it in the uh, description uh, on how to do this so that I don't have to put it on uh, every video. I, I plan on flashing uh, five different ROMs as you can see I've got the ROMs CWM up there and they all require like uh, to be on a uh, gingerbread kernel so I thought well I could just um, CWM it on what I was already but um, I thought well I'm gonna go to stock and make a video on how to do stock so that in future I will never have to do that again so as you can see the phone has already passed it's doing its thing but I'm gonna show you what to put in Odin so in Odin um, what you wanna do is go on a PIT file uh, and find your JVQ file, put open and repartition should be automatically ticked if it's not already tick it. Go PDA, choose um, choose code, phone, choose modem, CSE, choose CSE. And as you see phone is connected and just hit start. Once you've done that it will do that and the phone uh, will reboot as it's doing right now. Where to get JVQ, you might ask, is from Sam Firmware. Um, so go on Sam Firmware and um, go and register on the website. So over here it says sign in and register. Go and register. You can see I'm in the background. Hello. Um, so there you go. So go to um, Toolbox, Firmware, Android, Galaxy i9000, or any other version you're on, but Galaxy i9000, here you'll have to register, as you can see I've already registered, and once you do that you can scroll all the way down. So in this case, in this instance, I uh, flashed over JVQ, which is over here, so I'm going to zoom in, uh, there you go, you can just about see JVQ there, JVR over here, um, and so I did JVQ, you hit download, it comes up with another file, zoom out a little bit and just hit regular download and start downloading. So there you go, that's how to um, get on uh, stock JVQ. But uh, once you're on stock JVQ, well, you might want to put a custom kernel. So here you can see the phone's just booted up and um, what I'm going to do is unplug it, for starters, and close Odin. Um, and as you can see, it came up with a uh, mobile provider I want. And I can just whisk through this quickly because it doesn't really matter. There we go. Let's zoom out just a little bit more. So now what we're going to do is go via Odin and flash a kernel this time. So now I'm on stock JVQ. That's absolutely great. But for example, for the uh, ROMs that I've got, um, the you know, clockwork ROMs that need to be done via recovery, this does not have recovery. It's got the 2E recovery or 3E recovery, whatever it is. But it's a stock recovery. And what we want is uh, clockwork. So to get clockwork, we have to flash a custom kernel. And to get a custom kernel, I'll show you how to do that. And we'll do it via Odin because it's the best way, easiest way to do it. As you can see, I'm just on stock JVQ right there. And um, by the way, sorry for the noise in the background. Um, and there you go, JVQ, 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 as we had done there. So right, what we're going to do now is uh, power off the phone. And as it's powering off, we're going to go back to our um, back to our computer and uh, get a custom kernel. So a custom kernel can be anything. Um, in this case, I'm going to be using a semaphore kernel, JVR 1.60B3. I know I'm on JVQ, but I know that works on JVQ already. So at the end of the day, all we want is uh, clockwork. So you can download anything you want. Do not worry about you know anything. Just whichever, uh, whichever um, kernel which has clockwork. So CF root is a good one. Um, speed mod. Semaphore, Dark Core, highly recommend Dark Core, um, any of them really. So all you want to do in the setup is go for PDA, find where you put it, so I put it on desktop to save myself the trouble, bang, that's all you do. Now we're going to go into download mode, so down there, in download mode, connect our phone in, as you can see it's picked it up and pressed stop. I'm just going to close the window. <laughs> As you can see, very very fast indeed. And so um, once that's done, 
um, I can just go back to the phone. It's going to boot up, and when it boots up, um, you will have a custom ROM, um, custom kernel on it, not ROM. Um, um, and this will enable you to go into Clockwork and flash over a custom ROM, and um, it will it'll just be much easier for you um, just to flash over custom ROMs. Uh, as you can see, MTP is turning up there. We can close that and unplug the phone and close Odin all in one. And uh, just to show you, I'm on the I'm on the kernel. There you go, Semaphore JVR. And just to go into Clockwork, for example, if I put a file on the SD card, for example, if it's in the SD card right now, I'm gonna power off the phone, and we're gonna go straight into recovery. Um, and that's gonna be up on the volume key, home and power all in one. So I'm going to do that just in a second when it buzzes. Best way to do it is that, that and then that. That's the way I do it. So, uh, or that, that and that. Power key should be the last one. So there you go. Into recovery. Should have gone into recovery. There we go. Now we're into recovery. As you can see, we're in recovery. So for example, if I have something in my internal SD card, I can go there, bang, and I can flash it. Obviously, I've wiped the internal SD card uh, before I started flashing JVQ, but that was up to me. Um, but there you go, you can do it via there. So, um, there you go, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And this video will be linked to any other video which requires a um, gingerbread bootloader, for example. I suggest doing JVQ or JVR. Um, this is the 28th of August today, so it's whichever you prefer, I guess, but I would stick on JVQ because it's got all the files, and uh, you know it works, hey. <laughs> right, see you guys, bye-bye.